The Appalachian Trail stretches from Maine to Georgia for over 2,000 miles. Following the ridgeline of the Appalachian Mountains, the majority of the trail is pure wilderness. Over 4 million people embark on the journey each year, sometimes taking as long as six months to complete. Every year, over 20,000 hikers flood the quiet little town of Damascus in the Virginia foothills. They're here for trail days, a celebration of the trail and the hikers who struggle to conquer it. First Baptist Church Damascus has a ministry that started as a simple cookout, but now is a highlight of the festival and Linda Austin leads the team of volunteers for their Appalachian Trail Hiker Ministry. The hikers see sincerity. They get loved on here. That's why they hang out at our church, hundreds of them. They, they get loved on and they know it's real. The ministry has the reputation that hikers call trail magic. Trail magic is when you are out on that trail and somebody does something that you totally, that's totally unexpected. It's just an unexpected kindness. Everyone has just gone out of their way to direct us places, to find things for us, to just, you know, we mention a need and somebody's working on it. They expect nothing good from you, so anything you do, they love you for it. It only takes a very little bit and it means so much to the people who are the object of that kindness, especially when they don't expect it. This ministry takes trail magic to a new level. We heard there was food being cooked for the hungry hikers and there were hot dogs and chili out here with chips and oatmeal cream pies. You know, that by itself was amazing. But then after that, they did a home-cooked meal inside the church. We do three waves of 100 hikers, um, and there'll be fried chicken, barbecue, high country bowl, bunch of vegetables, salad bar, desserts, spread. They will die for food, okay? They will risk their lives for a fried chicken. This is a wonderful church doing this for us. Yay, thank you. A few years ago, um, one of the hikers suggested that we have an eating contest. First year, we just did hot dogs, and then it turned into hot dogs and sheet cakes. But they can't use utensils or their hands to eat the cake, so it's really nasty, and they love it. It's absolute insanity. I've always wondered why. Why would someone want to hike that trail? And, and I still don't know for sure. <laughs> if you've spent time around hikers, um, a lot of them don't look like we do, they don't act like we do, they don't smell anything like we do. We have a shower unit with hot and cold water. We provide nice big fluffy towels, shampoo, conditioners for those people who have wild curly hair. I tell them that's more for us than for them. <laughs> so. They really love the showers. Just the, the very basic creature comforts, you know, are magnified tenfold when you're out here because you have so little. The Internet Cafe is something that we're doing for the first time this year, and it's something that's very important to them. They stay connected with their family and the outside world where they're from by Internet.
Trail days is a time that we can kind of show God's love to the hikers. And obviously we're not practicing the things we normally practice at home. Uh, what we're doing is just taking care of the needs of the hikers as they come in. We have a mobile medical unit from Alabama that comes up. Doctors that come, nurses, um, technicians, and they do blood work for the hikers. Just watching the doctors from the medical team, how they humble themselves and seeing them just wash people's feet. The Lord calls us to be servants and you know you can't be any more of a servant than when you wash someone's feet. A lot of hikers worship the creation rather than the creator. They don't know why they're out here. A lot of them don't know why they're on the trail. I have come to understand what the abundant life is. And it's just pouring yourself into somebody else, making a difference. The best teachers in life are the people that lead by example, not the people in front of the church telling you. Um, the person that just gets out there and does, practice what they preach, is the best teacher. I used to be very um, judgmental, and um, I didn't really want to spend a lot of time with or love on people that were different than me. And um, you know, I started asking God to help me see people through His eyes, and He just changed my heart.